guys, so welcome back. So of course today we have ourselves an al pastor recipe and I'll be showing you just how to go about making the marinade. We're doing this one day before we're actually doing the cook. So let's get started. I'm gonna tell you a few things that are optional and then the others will be uh, what you really need. So the first thing is the anchote paste. We're doing about a little over five pounds, I think six pounds of uh, pork butt. And so what we'll be needing three tablespoons of this stuff. So I'm gonna just do a rough, rough estimate. This is a total of 3.5 ounces. So you're looking at about uh, 1.7 ounces, 1.75 ounces. And that's what we'll be needing for the anchote. The paste. next thing that is uh, mandatory for this ingredients is the oregano, about a tablespoon and a half because we're doing a little over five pounds. The, side, the next thing that is uh, mandatory is gonna be the chili chili powder we're doing one tablespoon of that tablespoon and a half i'm sorry and so the next thing that is mandatory of course also for this recipe is the garlic powder and once again about a tablespoon tablespoon and a half tablespoon and a quarter second to the last is the cumin and uh, we're going to do a tablespoon of that as well and last but not least is the last two ingredients the rest will be optional and this is going to be uh, about three quarters of a cup of white vinegar just about six ounces maybe a little bit more since we're doing a little over five pounds and we're going to do about a cup and a quarter of pineapple juice so let's mix this all together and let's see what color we got and then I'll explain the additional optional uh, ingredients. We were looking for a deep, deep red color, and the anchote paste is actually what gives um, us that color. But I think we're going to have a good red color here. Just a thing for you guys, uh, a side note, is in case you don't get a good red color, for some reason, sometimes some anchote pastes are more darker than others, uh, depending on the name brand. You can use a little bit of pe paprika you know, uh, for your marinade. We'll just put a little bit, not and much. And then another thing that's optional is the onion powder. Uh, this is just totally optional. It just gives it a little bit more flavor. And this is, like I said, optional. This will keep actually the meat moist and this is add your favorite oil. I'm using olive oil. Since we're doing it on the rotisserie and it's gonna take a lot of heat, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil just to help in the marinade. We'll come back and get our bag and break this down a little bit further, and then we'll start cutting the meat. We have ourselves uh, our pork and butt. This is a boneless pork butt. I didn't want to deal with the bone, taking out the bone. So this is going to be a boneless pork butt. 6.5 pounds of, of, of uh, pork butt. butt. Let's go ahead and open up this pack and take a look at what we're working with. Now remember, this is going to be put on the spit. So we're going to have to make a decision on where exactly to cut it, what angle. We do have uh, the slice or the cut where the uh, bone was at. Slice it right there so we'll know what we're working with. All right there. Stumbled upon an idea here and guys. I started slice. thinking that maybe we're gonna aim for more of a square type cut. So we got this uh, piece of the pork butt there. I'm thinking that we're gonna cut it straight down the middle and then try to get some squares. So uh, cut it right here down the middle. And then I'm going to try to slice this into squares so I can start shaping our al pastor even before we put it on the spit. Okay, guys, so we got our stacks of meat. And like I explained before, we went ahead and actually got about uh, slices that are about this type of uh, width. And uh, let me explain a little bit of what we did here uh, and why we did it. Uh, we have the stacks here of the different parts of the pork butt. Some are more fatty than others. And uh, if you guys have a slicer, keep that in mind. This would make it a lot easier if you had a slicer. I'm doing it with a slicing knife. But uh, going back to what I was saying, some of these are a little bit more fattier than others. So we're going to stack these in between some of the more leaner cuts. So you can actually put a leaner cut in there. Fatty one, leaner, fat, leaner, fat, leaner, fat. And you go back and forth to keep the meat moist. So that's the idea behind... Uh, what we did here, the first ones that are going to go into the mix, of course, are the leaner ones. So let's go ahead and put that in the marinade. And then let's get the semi-lean in there. And then last but not least, of course, the fatty ones. 
and um, let me zip this up and, uh, and take out as much hair as I can. There we go. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. So two days later, guys, and the one thing I forgot to do was add some salt and pepper. We'll do that as we start to put our uh, adobada, our uh, al pastor here on the pan. And we do have our pineapple. We're going to slice that and put it on the spit rod. One thing so. that I did want to point out real quick was the way we're setting up the vaquero. So you see that we have the center uh, there with some uh, lump charcoal. And then we have a few more down here closer to the wall. We're going to actually be having the fire right here in the center as uh, it requires more coal. Or more charcoal we'll be able to scoot it under from there so just an idea if you guys are thinking of doing the same Spit off the uh, rotisserie, and we're gonna go ahead and slice it. Pretty much shave it, guys. Check it out. Al pastor in Spanish translates to shepherd's way in English and is taken from the adopted cooking styles of Lebanese immigrants who settled in central Mexico in the early 1900s. Although it is referred to by different names in different regions, for example in Monterrey, Mexico known as Trompo, Adobada in Baja California, and Al pastor in Mexico City, the dish still translates to something simply delicious. The thin slices of charred shaved marinated pork from the rotating spit placed on a corn tortilla topped with red onions, chopped cilantro, pineapple chunks, and avocado slices must be the godfather of all tacos. All ingredients are listed in the video description if you guys want to give this a try. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys, take care of yourself and each other.